Welcome to the screencast on Acid Solutions. This screencast is a part of the ChemSims project, supported by the National Science Foundation. First, we're going to talk about the dissociation of acid molecules in water. We're going to focus especially on what happens in solution and how the particles behave. Acids can be classified into two different types, strong acids and weak acids. The strength of an acid is determined by the extent that it dissociates in water. In a strong acid, every molecule dissociates completely. This dissociation reaction happens via the transfer of a proton from the acid molecule, shown here as HA. HA is just a common way to denote a generic molecule of acid, and it can represent any acid molecule. Let's look at what happens in solution as you add a strong acid to water. Notice how every green HA molecule loses a proton by transferring it to a blue H2O molecule, forming a red hydronium ion. Now let's look at what happens in solution when you add a weak acid to water. Notice how this time around not every black HA molecule transfers its proton. This is because weak acids do not dissociate completely in water. In this next part, I'm going to walk you through some of the key features of the simulation that we'll be using today. First, I'm going to click on the My Solutions tab. When you first open up the simulation, you'll see a one liter beaker. The solution that we're currently observing is a weak acid. As you can see in the beaker, there are three different particle types present. There are gray HA molecules, blue A minus ions, and red H3O plus ions. There are also H2O molecules present in solution, but they've been turned off for clarity. You can turn on the H2O molecules or the view of them by clicking here on the right hand side. Now let's unclick that again for clarity's sake. On the right hand side, you can also flip between the weak acid and the strong acid solution. Again, notice the different particles types that you see in the solution. Now, let's look at both the weak acid solution and the strong acid solution side by side. Pay attention to the different types of particles that are present in each. Pause the video and answer question one. Feel free to rewind the video to review a small portion of it. In acid-base chemistry, there are two types of reaction arrows used. You might remember seeing them before when learning about equilibrium. A single arrow pointing to the right denotes a reaction that's going completely to product. Two half arrows going in either direction represent an equilibrium reaction, where the reaction will go back and forth from products to reactants. This first equation is for a strong acid solution, while the second equation is from a weak acid solution. Pause the video and answer questions two, three, and four. Again, feel free to rewind the video to review a small portion of it if needed. In addition to the molecule view you see here, the simulation also provides you with a graph view, which you can click over here on the right hand side. This graph shows you the equilibrium concentration of the acid solution you selected. In this case, we're looking at the equilibrium concentration graph for a strong acid. Again, you can flip between the weak and the strong acid right here on the right hand side. Pause the video and answer questions five and six. In the first half of this screencast, we discussed the two major classifications of acid strength, strong acids and weak acids. In reality, it's a little bit more complex than that. Let's flip back to the weak acid for this portion of the video. Weak acids are more dynamic solutions. Unlike strong acids, they do not dissociate completely. Some weak acid solutions, like seen here, dissociate almost completely, while other weak acid solutions, as seen here, barely dissociate at all. Extent of dissociation for weak acid solutions can vary a great deal. As you're moving this, this slider along on the right from weaker to stronger, you're changing the relative strength of an acid solution. You may be asking yourself, how do we measure the strength of an acid? 
you might remember k, the equilibrium constant, as shown here. A similar constant exists from acid strength. Ka is the acid dissociation constant, and it quantifies the strength of an acid solution. The stronger an acid, the larger its Ka value. You should now be able to answer questions 7 and 8 on your own. This concludes part 1 of the acid screencast.